Hey everyone, we're going to unbox and talk about editing 4K video on the new Mac Mini with the M2 Pro chip. This is my first video for the channel, so for the few of you who stumbled on this video to watch, if anyone at all, welcome. I'm a videographer and love tech, so that's what this channel is going to be all about. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe and follow my journey. This video is really just to see real world performance with video editing as we know the technical specs and Geekbench scores for the M2 Pro chip. The packaging is pretty minimal. If you're coming from a Mac Mini in the past, there are no surprises here. I think the only difference is a couple of block stickers for the bottom and the back ports. The body itself is pretty much identical to the previous model. Setting this aside, uh, inside we also have just you know your typical quick start guides to take you through the ports on the Mac Mini, getting started with Mac OS. And then we also have a large silver Apple sticker as well. And then we have our typical power cord. Now peeling off the black sticker on the back of the unit here to reveal all the ports. I'm going to hold off on peeling this bottom sticker for the base because the base is a fingerprint magnet. So once I'm done handling it, I'll peel it off last. So let's take a look at the ports on the back of the M2 Pro. So over here we have the power button, we have the plug for the power cord, we have the ethernet port. I didn't opt for the 10 gig option. There are four Thunderbolt 4 ports. This is a physical difference with the Pro model versus the base. HDMI 2.1, this is also on the Pro versus the base. We have the headphone jack and then two USB-A ports here as well. Finally, I'm gonna go and peel off this uh, sticker on the bottom of the plate. I want to avoid getting fingerprints on this because it's so easy to get fingerprints on it. Um, one thing that I kind of wish Apple did was add rubber stoppers or just made this entire plate rubber so that it didn't slide around so much when you're putting it on your desktop. As you can see here, it's pretty easy to slide, especially when you're plugging in cords or anything on the back, it'll slide around a little too easily. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Mac Mini here. Here's a power cord, plug that in first. And then I'm going to plug my monitor in through HDMI. Uh, I am using the 28 inch Samsung UR55 4K monitor. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide this underneath the monitor here. I love the form factor of the Mac Mini. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you'll be greeted with the classic Apple chime. First thing you'll need to do is connect your mouse and keyboard in the setup process. I'm using the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse and also the Keychron K4 mechanical keyboard. We'll go through the typical setup process and then you'll probably need to update the OS so we'll be back once it's done. So one of the first things I wanna do is set up my display correctly. I'm using a 4K monitor and with how Apple scales its displays, by default set to 1080p, everything looks a little too large for my liking. There's also 1440p and 4K. If you set it to 4K, you can see that everything just looks way too small, especially text, so it's hard to read. So I usually like 1440p, that's my sweet spot. Um, just keep in mind with Apple scaling, you're not actually scaling down the image. Apple scales up and then scales back down so that I'm still getting the 4K signal to my monitor. Second thing I want to set up here is sound output. By default, it's set to the built-in Mac Mini speakers, which absolutely suck. Um, I have my monitors plugged into my monitor, so I'm going to set it to output on my monitor and then that way the sound will come out of my speakers. I'm gonna finish setting this up, personalize it, install some apps like Final Cut, and then I'm gonna launch Final Cut, throw some 4K footage up in there, and then we'll put it through the test to see how the M2 Pro performs. All right, so I tossed in a bunch of footage from my a7 IV um, into Final Cut. All the footage are 4K 10-bit 422. Uh, this is for a spec project that I'm working on on the side. 
um, I did some basic grading, I added some effects like stabilization, even though that uh, stabilized clip didn't turn out that well, but this is just for, you know, just to see how this can handle it. I've layered up to about four 4K clips on top of each other. Um, I've also slowed this one clip down to 40%, but everything is really smooth. Playback, scrubbing, I've got no frame drops at all, no stutters, no jitters, no lags, nothing at all. Everything is really smooth. The M2 Pro is really handling this like it's nothing. Yeah, it was amazing. All right, let's go ahead and export it to see how long it's going to take to export. Um, I'm exporting it in H.264 and you guys can see that this whole um, video is just under four minutes long. So let's see how long it's going to take to transcode. And um, hasn't really started yet. So let me wait here, see how long it takes and then I'll cut and come back. All right, I realized why I was going so slow and it was because I was still screen recording and it's recording a 4K screen while trying to transcode this uh, 4K video. So I'm gonna shoot from my a7 IV instead um, and then start the process again so that we can see. Um, and you can see that it's already starting and it's moving through pretty quickly. So let me speed this up and then I'll come back once we get close to being done. All right, so we're just at about 91%, so it's close to being done. Um, and now it's done. Took just about two minutes, almost exact. All right, so my thoughts on the M2 Pro Mac Mini. This thing is an absolute beast. Probably the best value, bang for buck, for your buck that you can get for a computer to edit your footage, especially if uh, you are doing this as a professional and making money off of doing videos. This thing will chomp through pretty easily. All right, so again, this is my first video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please feel free to like and subscribe and let's build this channel and community together. Thanks guys.